The story of Aspirin begins over 3,000 years ago in ancient Sumer and Egypt. Back then, medicines derived from willow trees were used to treat fever and pain. Later on, in ancient Greece, Hippocrates, known as the father of medicine, noted that willow leaf tea helped to relieve the pains of childbirth. The beginning of what we know today as aspirin began in 1763, when an English chaplain named Edward Stone submitted a report to the Royal Society detailing the use of dried, powdered willow bark in curing fever. Let's fast forward to the 19th century. The 19th century was a period of huge growth for the burgeoning field of organic chemistry. There was a huge focus on the isolation and purification of the active components of many medicines, including willow bark. In 1828, Johann Buchner was able to obtain relatively pure crystals of a substance called salicin an anti-inflammatory agent found in the leaves and bark of the willow tree. Then, in 1838, something major happened. Italian chemist Raffaele Piria discovered a method of obtaining a more potent acid form of the willow extract, salicylic acid. By 1853, French chemist Charles Frederick Gerhard had published the first methods to prepare acetyl salicylic acid, the main ingredient in aspirin, by mixing acetyl chloride with sodium salicylate. Later, in 1897, while employed at Bayer, young German chemist Felix Hoffmann discovered a better way to synthesize acetyl salicylic acid from salicylic acid refluxed with acetic anhydride. The acetyl salicylic acid created by Hoffmann was then put through clinical trials, and initial reports were that it was a successful antipyretic, but despite this, it was rejected due to salicylic acid's reputation for weakening the heart. However, later low-profile clinical trials were done anyway, proving that the drug was an effective analgesic and had no apparent adverse effects on the heart. By 1899, Bayer had chosen the name aspirin for its new drug, and by 1950, aspirin had become the world's most popular painkiller. Despite its popularity, aspirin's use declined after the development of acetaminophen and ibuprofen. However, Due to the discovery of the basic mechanism of aspirin's effects on the body, and studies establishing aspirin's efficacy as an anti-clotting agent from the 1960s through the 80s, the use of aspirin was revitalized, with a large revival of sales in the later decades of the 20th century. Now, aspirin stands as a preventative treatment for heart attacks and strokes.